What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're in the queue for this Modern Horizons draft. And, uh... What are we opening here? Something good? Nothing good at all when it comes to a limited format. I like a Man of War. I like an irregular cohort. And I like a mob. So, which one of these jobbies are we going to be taking? That's the question. Hmm. I think I like Man of War here. Mob just kills a dude, though. At instant speed. Like, we can get the... If you have either of these and we get the blink effects, I think it's very, very good. I'm going to take the Mana War. Uh, I don't think Bogarton... I don't think Bogarton Dragonheart's that good. I think it's good. I don't think it competes with Mana War. Or Mob. Unfortunately. Aya's got... Oh, Battle Screech? Okay. Well, we're just taking the Battle Screech. Well, blue-white. I think we do do better with red. Yeah, and also there's a Pyrophobia. But I'm going to take the Battle Screech because that's just a bomb. Or scale guardian? Interesting. I mean, this pack is pretty terrible other than the red cards, which are igneous elemental and or scale guardian. I'm going to take the or scale guardian because it's pretty broken. I mean, it's really strong. Goblin engineer. Oh, a regular cohort is great. Uh, I'm a big fan of this card. So we can be either blue red or blue white or white red or white blue, I guess is what I'm getting at here. So the company I interviewed with is a super cool and really liked me and have decided to go in the direction. Oh, damn it. I love it when they really like you, but they're like, we've gone with someone else. I trust me, that's happened to me a bunch of times. Several times at Blizzard, I would say. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe this does have enough links, but like it doesn't make sense because it's really tight. Reign of Revelation seems very, very good. I mean, in this pack, we already know it's good. Actually, we just take the Rocks Veteran. Rocks Veteran is, is bonkers, so. Rocks Veteran seems like it should not be a common. I kite, not terrible. Martyr soul. Tribute magio. I think it's just I kite here. I mean, I don't want to take a black card or a red card. Or do I? Maybe I do. How are we getting lands in the graveyard in the blue in the red white deck though? Let's take I kite here. And good choice by me. Return a creature of power one or less from your graveyard to the battlefield, so we can get back an I kite if it dies. Whatever. It's still a two, it's still a two one flyer for three. King of the Pride. Do you have any cats? These are both cats. I mean this is just a two one for three, it's which is not great, but I mean the fact that you get um To buff your other creatures that's good i have been less and less impressed with prohibit but i'll still take it because it's nice to have i don't think trustworthy scout is that great king of the price i actually don't dislike scour all possibilities i do like recruit the word though because it gives you a nice battle screech target not target per se but uh another way to convoke rather 
been quite tilted the last couple of days just trying to get through and the job market is tough there are tons of archives there aren't tons of archives positions open unless you want to live in yeah washington seems like the place you'd be if you want to archive things Do I rare draft a $5 card over... Yeah, why? I mean, Lonely Sandbar is kind of meh. It also depends on the prizes of your draft. If you're going to win, like, you know, $1,000 from the draft, then probably take the card that's going to help you win. Oh, first sliver. I wish I had a five-color sliver deck for you. Pretty sure we're just taking Onero Phage, because this guy is great. Ideally, the Settle or the Vesper Lark comes back. Pondering Mage is nice. Answered Prayers has been pretty impressive. I've always been, I've always been impressed with impressive pair and uh, answered prayers when I've played it. But for now, we're just gonna take the Pondering Mage. I would like one of the Blink cards because we have Manowar, Pondering Mage. The regular cohort. We have some pretty decent blink targets. I'm going to take this second rocks veteran. Wow, two abominable tree folks? Jeez. Jeezy peasy. It's got a lot of four drops. We have no snow permanence though, so I'm just going to like just let him keep rolling. I'm going to take the enduring sliver because our two drop slots looking pretty, pretty slim. Another mana war? Oh baby. Ideally the settle comes back. Oh yeah, we're taking the mana war for 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 sure. Uranium fever has gone gone up now. Oh, a Mox Tantalite. Eh. Soul Strike Technique, Trustworthy Scout, Smoke Shroud, Shelter. None of these cards are super exciting. Might just want the Shelter to protect our guy. It's actually not a terrible trick, and we don't have, any, we don't have anything that, that's reliant on Snow Mana right now. Phantom Ninja, I guess you're fine. I love Good Fortune Unicorn. That card's great. Eh, Sudden Disappearance is playable. String of Disappearances, rather.
Man, this guy came back? No respect. You people got no respect. Deck is looking pretty decent. I would like more two drops and maybe even a like a talisman to ramp into four. Smoke Shroud? Okay, well. Yeah. Here's another little scaffolding to put up. Wow, that's uh well that's a raise, alright. Okay, well, this last pack was not ideal for us. But those are still remotely playable. Marginally playable. They're on the they're on the outskirts of playable. Nope, 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 none of these are exciting. Miss Moonbleach and Obi's not bad. Especially with Eye Kite and Fairy Seer. I like another Pondering Mage, but I think we're just gonna take the Moonblade Shinobi here. We also have Phantom Ninja. Ooh, that's a nice one. I kind of want this ephemerate. We have... Let's look at the things that we can profitably blink here. I think that's good enough, actually. Getting two mana more blinks is pretty good, and it's a lot easier to cast an Archmage's Charm. Mm, winter's Rest. Now I'm wishing I took up Snow Perms. Do I have any Snow, no, snow Creechy Boys? Still gonna take it, and we're gonna just try to pick up all the snow lands we can we can get, but not off color snow lands because that's not what we're looking for. All right, uh, five drop is decent. Could also take just answered prayers. Kurt, what are you doing over here? Oh, that's a late watcher for tomorrow. I'm okay with that. Wow, I did a mod thing. What did you do? Another king of the pride? Interesting. I mean, it's the only card I really care about here, but uh, we do have a Nature's Chant that we can take for the sideboard, which I think is better. We don't really need a seven, an 18th creature when we don't have that many. Uh... Oh, Generous Gift is great. Wow, that's a nice pickup. Now we need to cut something. Winter's Rest seems like an easy choice when we have no snow permanence. Seems good. Chiller Pillar. I think we're just taking Choking Tethers here. We could actually play Choking Tethers. Oh, Zalfir and Decoy? Wow, that's, that's actually not bad, especially when we have Recruit the Worthy. Hmm. This pack's actually surprisingly decent. Um, we still have Martyr's Soul, Phantom Ninja, and Archmage's Charm. Archmage's Charm, probably a little hard to cast when we have Double White, Double White, but... Phantom Ninja could be fine. I don't think we can out want another Knight. Alright, so I'm going to cut Choking Tethers. I'm not a huge fan of Knight of Old Benalia. Oh, 
All right, this snake looks pretty pretty decent. You can probably cut one of the phantom ninjas. Oh yeah, Onerophage does or uh Vesperlock does buy back Onerophage. That's pretty good. This deck looks decent. Yeah, like nine eight. Done. Seems good. Actually, yeah, actually cutting the King of the Yeah, King of the Pride seems worse than Phantom Ninja. That's a good call. Uh Let's cut one planes and see what they recommend here. Oh, the planes again. Okay. Eh, it still seems fine. I mean, two double blue, two double white, double blue, double white, so. It's my aeroplane. I think one of the reasons it's tougher to get into the snow decks is because uh, you you want to find the lands that actually cast your spells. Like if I'm just in like blue green snow, I'm, I'll find myself passing a lot of like planes, and then not even seeing many like forests or islands sometimes. So you kind of have to like be very, you have to be really vigilant when you're um when you're looking for the snow deck. Um, hand's a little slow, but I think we can still keep it. <coughs> Oof, excuse me. Oof. All right. All right, now we're talking. This guy into this guy, or this guy, and then this guy. Orcish or a flam. Well, that's not the that's not the land we wanted here. Don't do me like this magic. Ooh. That was a good hit. <laughs> this guy Whenever this creature is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to target player or planeswalker. Cool. Well. One, two, three, four. It's just a regular cohorts here, right? 
I mean, we're not going to be... We're not going to play rocks here. Super Fritz, have a good afternoon, buddy. I'll see you tomorrow. Opponents dude took one look at that jellyfish and said, I'm going back to I'm out. I ain't dealing with this. They don't pay me enough. They pyrophobia the mana war? That's intriguing. Bold strategy, Cotton. Seems good. Yeah, answered prayers is pretty impressive every time I see it. So next time we can go veteran in and keep up shelter, which seems good. Guess we're taking six. No, we're chump. We're definitely blocking this. Yeah, we'll take four here. That's fine. Well, they have one card in hand, and we know what it is, so that's pretty cool. Oh, this is nice. Because next turn they could have played this guy and made it a 5-4 and also triggered this again. But now they have no cards, so top deck mode it is. It's my aeroplane. I don't think I want to play Enduring Sliver here, but it does give us a really good attack next turn. I mean, they're in top deck mode, so this is not as relevant. Although, if they play a guy, they can attack with... We can block here. We'll take... Block both of these, I guess. We'll take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... But I guess we could just block all the things. Yeah, this is fine. Back in my day, we didn't even have days. Oh, no attacks. I like it. Ooh, blink, blink. I like that too. So what do we tap down here? Doesn't matter. The three two probably right. And then we just get a bunch of. Yeah, this seems like a pretty easy alpha. Um, tap target creature and opponent controls. I guess we'll tap this guy. Because that means we'll take less damage. We can also shelter. No, that doesn't do much. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. So we're taking 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. Now we're going to 5 here. And they're taking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8.
I guess we know we're taking six because this guy wasn't. Uh... So that's six. Yeah, and then we get to keep up shelter and recruit. That seems good. And like they have no attacks that actually kill us here. If they play a creature, we can they can attack for four, but uh, that's gonna be the end. I mean, we do have Nature's Chant for their... Actually, Nature's Chant seems good because we saw Oriflame and uh, Answered Prayers. And we saw no real removal. We can take out the Shelter. That seems good. That's a keeper. Dang it. No two drop, huh? Okay. I guess we're just playing Phantom Ninja here. Unless they play a thing and then we're just bouncing it. Yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this old dance again. Time walk, yeah. Ooh, interesting, interesting. There's no way you block this, right? seems good because now even if they have the guy they can't replay it Do we just bounce the bird? Or do we make them... Yeah, let's just get rid of the bird. Oh boy, that's pretty sweet.
actually might just play Rock's Veteran here. And then we get to bounce the... No, Mana War is never coming down, right? So... And by coming down, I mean Mana was never getting blocked. Never getting unblocked, rather. I didn't even see you suspend this guy. I guess it was last turn. Of course you have two battle screeches. Why wouldn't you? Jesus. Oh boy. Well, this is just a situation where we're alpha here. <laughs> and they're probably going to trade with this guy. I mean, if they want to trade one here or two birds for this guy, it's fine. I opened a box of the set and only got one. Yeah, well. Oh, they're just chumping. That's interesting. This feels like a stronger play for now. They have like four turns. Well, I mean, if they don't suspend the knight, if they just hard cast it, like, they're only dealing, like, eight. So, I mean, it's not, they're not super close. They have one card in hand. Sure. That guy can't attack this turn. Oh, boy. This is aggressive. So you're gonna have three blockers. I'm tempted to just make a guy here. One, two, three. You tap down one of them. So you have two blockers. You go block biggest two. You take one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, it's not not a victory by any by any stretch, but. Tap a little bird down. Oh, now you're double blocking. Okie dokie. One, two, three. Phantom Ninja. And we'll just make a we'll make a one one at the end of the turn. Which I think is probably better than just putting a Vesper Lark on the board. <laughs> I'm just gonna take four here. So we can play Enduring Sliver and then make two one ones. Which is a good amount of blockers. We're gonna tap this guy down because I want you to block with the. Uh, I want you to block with the birds. I can deal with ground guys. 
quite handily. Yep. Yep. You go to. You just going to one here? That's aggressive. So one, two, and then we can make two guys. So we have three blockers, and they have two ground guys. And they're just dead to Phantom Ninja on the crackback. All right, our deck is pretty sweet. I think we did all right. What happened to Freshly Brewed? Uh, we stopped doing it. I'll keep this hand. Uh, much as I'm out, much, much as I want a mana war, I'd rather have a blue mana. We our first hand is. Uh, I mean, if anyone has any suggestions for people I can do podcasts with, I would not mind doing a podcast with them. But I also don't want to carry it, and I think when Ollie and I were doing it, um, I, I don't think, I don't think content-wise, I was carrying it. I, I think we were we were great together. Um, but I was doing a lot of the work. I, I was the one coming up with the titles. I was the one uploading it. I was the one paying for the hosting site. I was the one, uh, you know, sharing it on social media. I was the one updating all the info for it. I was the I was the one editing it. I was the one recording on both ends. Like. I did all basically all the work. Ollie, Ollie, Ollie just showed up and recorded with me. And uh, so if I could find someone who wants to do a podcast with me that uh, will share some of that burden, I'm, I'm game. But like for me personally, it was just like, well, I'm I'm doing all the work and we're splitting this, you know, fifty fifty, and just doesn't feel great. So. You know, like I would have to come up with Patreon ideas. I, I set up our Patreon. I set up our Gmail. I set up our Twitter account. Like everything that had to do with the podcast, I did. So. Uh, they will never make emblems permanent, and they will never make a card that deals with emblems. Emblems exist outside of the game, and they are not permanent. There's there's far too many there are far too many rules complications that you would have to come into come into effect uh, to deal with emblems and the design space you're tackling when you're dealing with an emblem, which comes up in in roughly one out of probably sixty games of Magic, if that uh, is just it's not worth it. You're making a card that only that only has a function out of one out of every sixty to seventy five games, I would guess. Um, so there's just no point to it. It's absolutely pointless. And as far as making them permanent, like that's just too big of a rules change to make and you have no reason to do it again. Like it's just like you're, 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 you're tweaking something that has not, an, that's not an issue, right? Like no one's like, man, I wish I had a way to deal with emblems. Like, no, the, the way to deal with emblems is to not let their planeswalker ultimate or, you know, go unchecked for seven turns. So like I mean the the whole point is the emblem is the reward for your hard work on the planeswalker 
Plus, like, if they make it, if they make a card that's like deal with an emblem, like you're never gonna play it because it never happens. Like, I can count the number of times, the number of times that I've, I've played an emblem or have had an emblem against me in standard in the past god year is probably one to two. And uh, yeah, you know, there's just it's, it's, there's no point to it. Like, the most I could see them doing was being, like, having a creature that's very aggressively costed that says, like, opponents can't make emblems while this is in play. You know, and that wouldn't be the wording, but... Well, if you're seeing a lot of emblems in Commander, and there's multiple people, like, four or five players, and they're allowing these emblems to, uh, to show up, then... You know, I feel like they're they're not doing their jobs. Well, the problem is they have two flyers, so now one of them will get through. Hmm. It's obnoxious because like you got two guys, so I block this one, you bounce this one, you get the ninja back, and it gives you like a billion. It gives you a billion. I guess we're actually gonna play decoy here. Because next turn we have recruit the worldly, which lets us uh recruit, recruit the worthy, which lets us uh deal with our opponent's guys, so <coughs> Headless Spectre. Interesting. Yep, that dude, huh? We're just gonna recruit the wor the worthy here. If we had another land, we could recruit and play that sliver. But like emblems are just the part of the game that should not be interacted with because it just causes too many too many rules issues. Like, they're just a part of the game that exists outside the game, so. Yep. I want to take you for a ride. Do, 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 do. Do, 
Yuppers. Well, now we can always just tap this guy down. No more taking folks for a ride. I'm sorry, they gotta go for a ride. Well, that's not great. Yikes. <sighs> now we're getting to the point where it's like, well, we don't have the things we need to really survive here. Oh, we didn't do our thing. Dang it. I guess that's actually fine. Oh, it's got flying. It's not fine after all. All right, we're just going to concede. I can't beat this. We could chump block and then ephemerate, but I like we just don't have a strategy in place for these guys. Oh, that's a pretty good strategy. I mean, it just blocks the ninja, but then it dies, so. Yeah, I think our deck is fine. Each opponent turns their emblems into shmemblems. <laughs> I think that's actually a good idea, and that's a solid change that I can get behind. Uh, I have been enjoying this draft format for sure, so... What's the hold up here? I'm trying to take these guys for a ride. White blue is a good color combo. You know why? Because that's the color combination of Talon Troopers. All the best cards are blue and white. That's true. That's true. Yeah, all right. I can get behind this. We got one drop, two drop, two drop, two drop, one drop.
did it make this set? It did not. Sorry, man. God, I know it's I know it's painful. Uh, definitely keeping the land. Probably putting this on the bottom. We're going to play the creature that uh, deals more damage. No blocks. Interesting. I can only assume it got taken out after playtesting in the future league thing they had to do in case with in Castle Wizard in Castle Wizards, is that what you're calling it? Interesting. Just took one here, huh? Alright, what does it say? Uh, a scripture on the when it says look at the top four cards of your library, exile one face down, let me just put the exile. Yeah, put that exile card in your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can put them to six. It's pretty cool. We can just we can draw rocks here too, that'd be cool. We did not. <laughs> Land. All right. Well, we were playing if we drew uh, Phantom Ninja, and then we can still play it. I don't think we have any double white cards, so we can play anything we drew on three. But that was nothing. The answer was nothing. Oh, Throat Seeker. That's interesting. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'm game. I want to keep playing lands in case we draw, like, 
the worthy card. I forgot what it's called. Summon the worthy. I just made that up. You have a shadow on your stream over the island. I don't know what that means. Over here? I don't see it, but... Are you talking about my body? Oh, like right here? Yeah, that's just the green screen. That doesn't really matter, I don't think. Oof. Well, they have to block a 2-2 two -two here, so that's okay. Alright, I think this game's over. Alright, well, we're doing alright. I mean, they, they were pretty... They were pretty un... Uh, you know. Un things there. They were un, uh, unaggressive there. Pistol packing, mama. Money the nuns, they're hurt to Do you still do deck building streams? Yeah, I did one just yesterday. Literally did one yesterday. Pistol down, pistol packing, mama. Also, scuttling sliver and the uh, outlast sliver is a uh, kind of a combo. Uh, oh, you just found my shoot five days ago. Nice, appreciate it. I will keep this hand. It's a little slow, but we got some things. We got some things going on here. Do you still love me? I do. I do. Always, Sammy boy. Always. You got it. Okay. So ideally they try to sneak their guy in this turn. Well, Fof, what's going on, my dude? Do you think all slivers are numbers? <laughs> yeah, this is number 17. This is number 12. Sliver number 9. Oh, yeah. This is what we're hoping for. This is all I could have ever asked for. That's the tempo right there is just unreal, dude. I can feel it in my tempo bones. I think it's phage into rocks. I think. Pistol packing, mama. Lay that pistol down. Well. These guys, neither of those can be blocked, so we're just gonna get right on get right on in there. Yeah. 
Yep. Lay that pistol down. Pistol bagging mama. from Logan, Utah. Oh man, that bioessence hydra was no joke, dude. No joke. I think we're just playing Rocks better and keeping up Ephemerate just to be safe, and then we can just easily block this guy. Uh, unless, of course, they play some smoky shroudy nonsense. Yep, taking four. Oh my god, it never ends with this guy. I have all the... D oh, that guy's a big fat idiot. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh god. Ah, vomitous. Hmm. Three... Four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11. We're really close to just killing them here. I'm just going to cast this guy. Lay that pistol down. They have one card. One, two, three. Oh, let's tap down this guy so you can block if you want to. You can leave those blocks behind. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh yeah, this 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 format's been sweet. I haven't minded this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. We can put them to 3, but that's not great. That's not winning us any games. Yeah, I've enjoyed this format. It's been sweet so far. You know what to do. Pistol pack and lifelink. Do 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 do. You're gonna hurt yourself. Lay that pistol down, Phantom Ninja. So you're basically dead, right? You're dead, right? Oh, now you're real dead. Okay. 
Well, this deck is pretty sweet. Two and zero. Dos and O. Liking it. Liking it. likes it. I hate it when they never don't have it. You and me both, man. They never don't have it. Wait, are we talking about me? Check Discord? Oh, God. What have you done? <laughs> wow. I, I have a really thick jaw there. Also, I feel like my the lower portion of my mouth is pushing out like this. I can't even do it, really. I can't even do it. That's pretty funny, though. This hand is great. Make no mistake. Oh, the old jut jaw. Is that what it's called? He's got... Look at that. Look at that. He's got the old jut jaw. And if you guys haven't done so, definitely uh, consider subscribing or at least following. And if you subscribe, you get access to the subscriber Discord channel, which is pretty pretty awesome. What did they chose land? And what did they hit? What did they hit? Two lands? All right. Yeah. Yeah, good for you. I feel like that card consistently draws you two cards. Pistol packing Mike Bees. Is Mike not going to work yet? my god <sighs> Jesus never ends <laughs> this guy never never goes to work man it's unbelievable I don't understand it If it's my skills or your face, I'll leave it up to you. Wow. Wow. Unfriended. Absolutely unfriended. Yeah, if we get enough blue, we can bounce our whole side. We can be like, bounce, bounce, bounce. Bounce, 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 bounce. First strike, huh? Well, isn't that, isn't that special? Fascinating.
So I assume they play both of these. Interesting. So I guess we're not playing. I guess we're not playing the sliver here. Which is good for us because a 3 3 I was kind of afraid of. <sighs> is this. Wait, is that. Those, those guys, whenever it deals damage to a player, I think it's player, isn't it? care about any of these to be honest with you i think they're fine but i think we can probably do better vesper lark oh that was loud vesper lark isn't super exciting generous gift is kind of meh right here um i'm gonna play any order and then we'll just shuffle it yeah that's fine that seems good <clears throat> first strike sliver giving us some some business here though what's this morpheron Well, somebody did it. I'm proud that someone did it. Yeah, that's going to be hard to hard to deal with. I mean, I guess we have Generous Gift on the bottom of our library. No, we shuffled, so it could be anywhere. Pretty good. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. This is the best deck I've ever seen in my life. I'm impressed, and I'm not surprised this person is 2-0. Oh, uh, actually, a while ago, The Last God, I believe, said... Uh, they used to say that about things in Exile 2, then the processors came. Uh, that's not true. You've always been able to interact with things in Exile. Rift Sweeper is a card way back from Time Spiral Block. And that guy could pull things from Exile, so it could pull from Eternity. Um, You know, you also had the Wishes, which were back in uh, Judgment. Living Wish, Cunning Wish. And those were pulling things from outside of the game as well. So, like, interacting with things outside of the game... Uh, is nothing new. The problem is an emblem is not is neither a card nor a permanent, so you're not interacting with any real object. Lay that pistol down. An emblem is a state of mind. You're right. Is this real life? I mean, we're just chumping, blo chumping, chumping, blocking this guy. Chumping McBlockersons.
Let's block with changeling, I guess. And they only have six cards in hand, so we're probably way ahead here. I'll play a sliver at all cascade. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, they're just going to outlast. Okay, sure. Huh. Do I really want to blink these guys? Jesus. Jesus. Could I actually blink this guy? Play the rocks veteran? And the and the irregular cohort actually no we can't do both. I guess we'll just play cohort here. I don't think we're I don't think we're winning this game, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. First sliver is pretty problematic. Also, first strike, that's a thing too. That's a big old yikes for me, dog. Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. I can't beat this. <laughs> like, the card advantage is insurmountable, and they also have five cards in hand already still. So... Yeah, I don't know how to deal with that. That is a... Uh, I think this might be a Choking Tethers deck where we can just tap down their team. Let me take out Vesperlark. Actually, Vesperlark feels like it deals a good amount of damage early. So do those guys, though. I'll take out the Shelter. Play that pistol bell. Pistol back and mama. <laughs> yes. Um, I'll keep it. It's very slow. It has only four drops, but we got lands. Plus, I'm not holding out hope with the double winding road, winding wind, whatever that card is, along with uh, five mana sliver guy. Okay, another four drop. Seems good. This might be all of them in the deck, except for Battle Screech, so. Four cards into the battlefield. So I assume you took lands. Good for you. Yikes. All right, you know, if we get a land next turn, I'm good. It's going to be a five drop in before Wall of Swords. Either way, if you're watching this either on Twitch or YouTube, definitely check out manatraders.com. They have a super sweet service where you can rent physical magic cards or digital magic online cards, both of which are great. And uh, if you use my link and promo code down below in the description, you will get 20% off your first three months of any subscription, which is a great deal. So be sure to check that out. Oh, we did it. We're very good at this game. And you can also, someone was asking about it earlier, you can also check out meundies.com slash franklapore. You will get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And they're super comfortable, so don't even, don't even hesitate. Oh my god. Lay that pistol down. Pistol pack. Actually, I think you still have that forest. You had it with, you have two forests. So you have, you have forest and island in hand. Actually, maybe it's a Nero Phage. We're, we're pretty ahead here. Oh, he overpaid. Don't care. Doesn't really matter, I guess.
I feel like we can't lose if we get three more turns. We can just choking tethers their whole life. All right, so we need to have a forest in hand. F for forest. Lay that forest down. Pistol back in forest. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Well, we're not blocking these guys. Oh, you played another Winding Way and you named... You chose Creature. And you hit zero creatures. That's pretty gas. So we need to have a forest and two other cards in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Actually, we can choking tether as a blocker, I guess. Now we're just going to play the rocks. Rocks the Casper. Rocks the Casper. Rocks the Casper. Okay, still have that forest in hand. And big fat sliver idiot. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh my god, we're so close. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hmm. Tap two down, bounce one. Yeah, I think we can do this. If they don't have anything, we're good to go. Yeah, this should be Xaxes. Battle cry, battle cry, tap this guy, and then tap this guy. Uh, always yield, always yield. Oh, always yield, always yield. Because now we draw an extra card, and this guy becomes a 6. So 6, 79, 10, 11, 12. Temple Scribe Adam, what's going on, buddy? Let's do the thing. I wish I had a counter spell that countered the, the sliver, the last sliver. The first sliver. Should we board this in, and then we could just both be sliver decks? Got him. The answer is no. Tempted to bring a nature's chance just to kill their their thing. Well, I'm mulligan this hand. Oh, I'm gonna keep this hand. This is gorgeous. Oh, keep that on top. Yeah, sure. That's just the same as almost drawing a card, except we get a a nice little. What do you think of Omnath Locus of Royal? Um, I feel like it's a commander card. If I, oh, I'm going to keep both of these. Uh, top and top. This is like six Mana Wars. I actually don't know if they can win with six Mana Wars. We just go Ninja and then Mana War 
and Ephemerate in the same turn. They're going to Winding Wind, I think. No. They're going to Talisman. That being said, the Sultai card does get my get my juices flowing. Okay, this is actually great that you're doing this now. I think you're going to name land. And you hit one land. That's pretty cool. Hey, that's pretty cool. Did I say six mana wars? I meant four mana wars. I think I got too... I got overzealous with the amount of mana wars that I had. Either way, we have a lot of... Uh, bleh, unblockable things right now. So next turn we go mana war. We keep a veteran. Then we play mana war. We blink another mana war. Man, you got it. Also, if they have to keep taking one damage from casting their white spells, that's pretty cool. Rock the Casbah, rock the Casbah, zambadu do 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 do. Oh yeah, we're just blinking at the end of turn here. We're gonna bounce both your guys, or we're not. Now we're just gonna play Mana War. Hmm. I'd rather just bounce this guy with Mana War, and then. Yeah, that's fine. We can take three here. Or two, I guess. Uh, pale blue. Man of War, don't like it. Rock the Man of War. That's not how the song goes at all. This is the most tempo I've ever seen in my life. Boom, 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 boom. The sheep don't like it. Lock the cash box. Lock the cash box. Whatever you're doing to the sheep, they don't like it. Oh, did they take it? Did they? No, they had a planes there. All right, that's fine. I accept. I accept. Man o' wars, man o' wars, doing the things that the man o' war does. Spins a whip, any size, man o' wars, bounce your guys, hey there, there goes a man o' war. What's it gonna be, boo do do, making guys and that's okay. Do they trade here? I feel like they do, right? See you later, big slivs. So now they have two white cards in hand, and they have one white source on board. Alright, they're just going to play first sliver here, I bet. No. This guy. Okay. Here comes a man of war.
All right, well, you got one green here. Hmm. Oh, opponent disconnected. So they're either angry <clears throat> or they're, their internet connection sucks. I guess we'll find out. What's it going to be? Little G Tangle. Oh, they're back. Okay, so. Seems like a, a, a legitimate internet issue. Internet. Internet. I-N-N-E-R-N-E-T. Internet. Uh, we have not played any constructed yet, no. We have just been busy winning this this Modern Horizons draft. We're here for the first time. I still see no monocle, so no toilet for you. So wow. You're really you're really killing this 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 toilet meme. Also, I'm kind uh I am what's it? I am kind of manned. What do you mean by that? That's I'm missing that part. Oh, kind of mad you are winning against the <laughs> Yeah, that makes more sense. Alright, so they can go block block, so we might as well just attack with these guys. Seems fine. And they're just gonna play Rocks Veteran because, come on. This guy's the veteran. Also, the bathroom meme is part of. Yeah, I know, I can tell. I can tell. <laughs> oh, man, good times. And 3 0. This was sweet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons on Twitch, on YouTube. Really appreciate those. You guys are great. Uh, if you like the content, give me that thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you did or didn't like and what I could do better. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Take it easy. I couldn't think of anything to say there.